What's up everybody, I am Mike and today we paint our Marlon Brando head sculpt from The Godfather. If you happen to own Godfather or Vito Corleone dolls or just want to learn how to paint a head sculpt, this will work too. In order to paint the skin, I use soft, all free pastel chalk. This is a 1 4th scale head sculpt of Vito, but in the future I'll also show you how to paint a 1 6th scale version. I like to start by painting lips first and for that I use red, brown and flesh colored pastel chalk. A couple of layers of different shades of brown are also great for adding shadows and more details. Before you can apply pastel chalk, you need to seal your surface with a purity seal. Satin varnish will give us a shiny effect and with matte varnish you can seal the entire head sculpt. In my other videos I go into a bit more detail on how to properly apply a protective seal and this will also help you protect your paint. I tend to repaint the same head over and over again and it might take you a couple of tries before you have a skin tone that matches the one you want. With nail polish remover and a couple of q-tips you can clean the face and add a new paint job until you're happy. Naturally, we also need to do the same for Vito's hands. After painting the rose, it's time to go back and finish the face. I also recommend having a few different sized brushes. And once that is all done, I use watered down pastel chalk to paint a fine line for the eyebrows. 
and with a short brush you can soften up the edges. Adding some red to the mix will also help distinguish the Godfather's brown eyes. A small white dot gives the eye more definition and I also used a couple of light brown layers of pastel chalk to give the white portions a more natural look. Acrylics need to be watered down a little bit and mixing up paint every now and then creates a more human and layered look. Acrylics and pastels mixed together will also give us a couple of different shades for the black, grey and white hairlines. Once I'm done with acrylics, I like to add more pastel chalk. Black and brown will give you more shadows on the sides. And with a little bit of flesh colored pastel chalk, you can finish the hairline. Before he is completely finished, I like to apply a thin layer of gloss varnish on his eyes to give them a more natural and reflective look. Thanks for watching and if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel. Remember to like and comment down below what you want to see me do next or what I should improve. I'll be back soon with another video. Check out my site, the link is down below. You'll also find tons of images and links for DeviantArt, Figure Realm and ArtStation. And of course my shop on Etsy, if you ever feel like getting a unique and fun gift idea for a friend. Thank you again for tuning in. And remember as always, it's just painted plastic.